compare made in Ghana chocolates and chocolate from elsewhere. I do not think that made in Ghana chocolate is expensive. But what I say is that, for example, if we, are, if we increase consumption, our companies will be able to process more. When they process more, cost of manufacturing or cost of processing will come down. That will force price down. So this is part of the process where we'll be able to bring the price down and the world can consume chocolate. But for example, if you look at a, a bottle of a cocoa powder compared to other products, I do not think that the price is that high. But of course, when we are able to increase consumption and the companies are able to process more, definitely will have an effect on the price. On the issue about um, delay in payment to licensed buying companies, uh, we've answered this question and we're not expecting to have this conversation take uh, precedence over the national activity, that's the National Chocolate Day. But I would like to state that if anyone tells you that we've not paid farmers or licensed buying companies since November, that is untrue. That is not the case because Cocoa Board has already drawn down about 110, 110 uh, billion, 1.1 billion, sorry, 1.1 billion, which about 92% of it, plus money sourced from Bank of Ghana, have been used to pay licensed buying companies. We admit there's been some delay, and the expectation is that this very week we'll draw down the remaining $190 million, which we'll use to service the remaining amount of money we are supposed to pay to license buying companies. But that does not mean that because there's a delay, we cannot continue to promote the consumption of chocolates locally and also boost our economy.